Yeah, I'm uh, Dr. Edith Perez, uh, a breast uh, cancer uh, translational researcher at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, today I will uh, discuss the results uh, that we are actually presenting at the San Antonio Breast Meeting related to HER2 testing. We have known uh, that uh, there can be some variability of HER2 testing results between local laboratories and expert or central laboratories, which we have published about in the past. Well, this time we set out to understand whether there was variability in the results of HER2 testing amongst experts or central pathologists. In order to do this, we established a collaboration with uh, physicians from uh, three other uh, institutions, specifically uh, UCLA, USC, and the University of Pittsburgh, which collaborated with us at Mayo Clinic uh, to perform this study. Specifically, we selected two more specimens from 389 different patients who have participated in adjuvant trastuzumab uh, clinical trials. And of those, 125 actually had more than one tumor block. So specifically, by doing this, we were able to analyze the following. Number one, is there concordance or discordance of HER2 results amongst expert pathologists? And if it exists, what is it? We also set out to determine whether there was heterogeneity or differences in the HER2 testing amongst the different blocks. Additionally, we wanted to figure out whether we could adjudicate any differences that existed among the pathologists if we met face to face to look at the slides. And fourth, we also set out to determine whether there was any potential benefit of trastuzumab, also known as Herceptin, for the few tumor specimens that have been deemed to be HER2 normal by the central pathologists, although initially they had been read as positive by central laboratories. So for this study, we selected the tumor specimens, we recut the tumor blocks, sent them to the different pathologists, after which each different pathologist analyzed the tumors both for the protein and the HER2 gene. We then looked at the results from all of the pathologists, analyzed the data, and found the following. There was actually an 8% discordance amongst the readings of pathologists for the HER2 protein, and there was an identical discordance for the reading of the pathologist for the HER2 gene. This was uh, of some surprise to us because some people would have thought that there would be higher concordance for the analysis of the HER2 gene by FISH versus the protein analysis by immunohistochemistry. But again, our results demonstrated similar discordance for the two technologists. On the other hand, there was pretty good concordance for the two technologies, and that was a concordance rate of 92% for each one of the two tests. Related to the question of heterogeneity, we found out that the tumors were heterogeneous in about 5 to 10% of the cases. By that, what I mean is that in one of the tumor blocks, we will get some results of the protein or the HER2 gene that actually was different than the results we obtained in the second tumor specimen. The third issue was adjudication. And in this study, by meeting face to face, we were able to solve most of the differences that originally occurred with the reading of the different pathologists. In this particular case, by meeting face to face, we were able to agree in actually about 97% of the cases. The fourth issue of importance in our trial was to determine whether there was any hint of potential efficacy for the tumor specimens that had been deemed to be centrally negative by both immunohistochemistry and FISH, although those patients still participated in the pivotal anti-HER2 or trastuzumab adjuvant trials. Well, in N9831, which was the study that I had the honor of uh, leading here in uh, North America, we had a total of 103 patients who were enrolled in the trial based on local laboratory testing saying that the tumors were HER2 positive, but centrally they were found to be HER2 negative. So out of those 103, we found tumor specimens in 59 of those patients. So we retested all of the tumor specimens, and we actually found some very interesting things that I think are very helpful for clinical practice. Specifically, we found 
that of those 59 specimens, actually, in six of them, when we retested the tumor specimens again, we found that there was some positivity. Additionally, when we looked at the potential benefit of trastuzumab, it appeared that those patients whose tumors were centrally negative actually appeared to derive some benefit from trastuzumab, but the difference was not statistically significant. So as a conclusion of our studies, we found that there were discordances amongst expert pathologies, although they occurred in only 8%, which could or could not be potentially very important for patients. We also found that by adjudicating or meeting face-to-face, -face, some of the differences really could be ironed out. And number three, we found that we must be a little bit careful with generalizing that uh, tumors that are hurt to normal or negative really will predict for benefit to trastuzumab because in some of our patients the tumors were just heterogeneous which may explain some of the correlations that have been made so far.